Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Philip. I'm really excited today to tell you more about the A6 Nimbus 25. I finally hit 100 miles. So this is the 100 mile review of A6 Nimbus 25. Full disclosure, I purchased this on my own. Every shoe that I have are shown on YouTube. I am not sponsored. You don't have to worry about just say good things. Like if I don't like a shoe, I'm gonna tell you I don't like it. I'm not an athlete. I'm just your normal everyday person. So with that said, let's go over the spec tongue of this shoe. It's a gusset. It's not added. The upper of the shoe, it feels really good. It has a 41 and a half heel stack and it has an eight millimeter drop. So from here to the front is eight millimeter drop. Front stack is 33 and a half. You look at the bottom of the shoe. You see the difference in the middle? It's so much wider. For someone who has wide feet, it feels good. Surprisingly a stable shoe. How wide it is in this particular area. It contributes to the stability of the shoe. What I mean by that is you don't feel like you're gonna roll your ankle. Heel area. It has padding to make you feel very comfortable. No issue with heel slippage. Like I said, it feels like pillows are wrapped around your, your foot. It has a stretchy pull tab in the back. It helps you get the shoe on. It's just really soft. Plus, doesn't it look cool? Total weight for the Nimbus 25 is about 10.3 ounces for the size men's and nine. For the woman's size, it comes in 9.1 ounces. I completed my first 10 miles all because the Nimbus 25. As the miles kept going, it just felt easier. It was not until the ninth mile I started struggling because of course I've never ran that many miles before, but I just remember from mile one to nine, I felt no pain. It felt really good. <laughs> that alone is worth it for me for the price of the shoe. But even the foam itself, it's a lot more comfortable. If you're looking for a max cushion shoe, I definitely recommend the Nimbus 25. And here is another thing I love about the Nimbus 25. You can wear it as a lifestyle shoe. Like it looks good and it feels good. Also the shoe is it's really comfortable for traveling. When I go to the movies or grocery store, I grab the Nimbus 25. It's very versatile. You can wear it for running, you can wear it for lifestyle, you can wear it to work, recovery for your easy days. If you wanna hit a new goal in your mileage, like myself, you know, hitting 10 miles. You know. Now, which shoe would I pair the Nimbus 25 with? It's none other than the shoe of the year, the Nova Blast 3. More beginner friendly. The foam on the Nova Blast 3 is more squishy if you just want to go out there and just go full ham i mean there's a reason why it's called nova blast 3 i just blast you to the future i would recommend pairing up with these two buying these shoes together is 200 bucks right that's like the cost of one pair of jordan don't tell me you can't afford it all right especially if you're a sneakerhead let me just say this about the a6 lineup what they got going on very exciting they have a lot of good shoes so i think nimbus 25 is a success in my book so let's talk about how it's been holding up after 100 miles. It's been holding up really well. There's not much scrape, just a, a little bit here on the heel, but it's not much at all. Um, there's not much worn to be honest while I'm looking at it right now. No scuffs, just your typical road marks, even the exposed foam. I mean, there's like your normal creases here in the front. There's not much wear on it to be honest so i mean as far as aesthetically i don't know if you can see that or not but there's like this black mark here and it's like i don't see any wear on the rubber either like it's not bad at all there's not many wear or signs or tear at all there is some wear on the pad of the feet here but it's not much. It's it's more or less just dirty. I thought it would be more scuffing, but to my surprise, dirty. I mean, <laughs> it's not like worn out. Like, like look at the heel. Like there's, <laughs> it looks brand new, honestly. I mean, I have less miles on the Nike Vaporfly 3. And <laughs> Let's just say it doesn't look new. <laughs> so, 
I'm really shocked right now because honestly, I never really like looked in details. Okay, I see something here. Okay, in this area, there's like creases on the inside where this is where the exposed foam is. There's like three of these lines. Only one of them I can I can see for sure, but there's like three of them. Right now, as I'm recording this. At Champ Sport, they have this for $95. I'll put the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the review on the Nimbus 25 after 100 miles. Don't forget to subscribe, man. I really am trying to push out as much videos as I can. I love you guys. Have a good one.